Blessed love, Willie at it. This is March 28, 2021. Um, family, I'm going to do my best to make the presentation. I'm very Jamaican, and as much as I possibly can make it understandable for all of it. Because I did make a statement and say, I'm not going to talk about coronavirus and vaccine and all of them things again. Because I think I say enough from last year, March, until you know, January this year, February this year, and I decided to say, I'm not going to say no more because, you know, I realize a lot of people just give up. Them not care, them, them just know say if they get the vaccine in life, I got better. So they might just take a vaccine because they can't bother with what is potentially going to come. Them fears of what government might do if they don't take the vaccine. Them fear of losing them job if they don't take the vaccine. Them fear of can't jump on a plane and go look for their family if they don't take the vaccine. So many people are taking the vaccine really and truly not because they really believe say, it. I got do nothing for them, but because they know say, if they don't take it, it might come back and haunt them and restrict them and confine them from doing things they would want to do, like travel, like go about them business, like all that, go back to life as it was before COVID 19. So it's really fear factor that is driving these vaccines based upon the little conversations I've had with people. And then you have some people who just, them just can't bother. They just nonchalant. They just want to get this thing over with and move on. Them have them own, when they talk to them, them, them have them own beliefs. But, you know, them no bother, them can't bother for stand up on what they believe because at the end of the day, them can't fight the system and the system bigger than them and blah, blah, blah. The reason why I may come out and say something I know about this whole thing is because me here, the Prime Minister, said that they are bringing in Moderna into the country. 20,000 doses. When me hear the name, my body cringe. I mean, I said, Lord, AstraZeneca was bad and not so bad, but Moderna, Pfizer next. <laughs> me hear my talk about Sinovac. <sighs> so, let me try and help and understand what really are going with this whole thing with coronavirus. First of all, let me explain to you where this whole thing come from. If we need to follow the thing from last year, we need to realize when the whole study started in China and everything, that particular strain of coronavirus here is an offshoot of H1N1 swine flu. The PCR tests that they had designed using to establish if people were positive or negative for COVID was an indicator that is used for one of the variants of H1N1. Let me just make that very clear. There was no specific designed uh, material, genetic code to, to, to make it possible for them to distinguish between SARS, um, MERS, CoV, or MERS, CoV 2, which is COVID 19. Yeah, all of these things are variants of the H1N1 influenza A type virus. That is the basic foundation block for what is going on now. One of the main reasons from back then why plenty of people did think this thing was man-made and very learned people were beginning to suspect that this thing is not something that evolved in nature is because when you look at the infectious rate or the infection rate or how fast H1N1 infects somebody versus how COVID-19 was doing it, listen this carefully. So if one fowl lay two egg, chances are the quality of the egg and the makeup of the egg, I don't want to use no fancy term, are going to be similar between the two eggs. You understand? One cock trader, she spit out two eggs. Chances are the eggs are going to be very similar. This is the case with H1N1 or influenza A type coronaviruses. What happened is that, let us say that it takes three days for H1N1 to fully infect a human being. COVID, which is the sharing the same almost identical structure as H1N1, was infecting an entire human being in three hours. So scientists could not understand how it is that COVID-19 and H1N1 share similar construct with just a few fragments of changes have this dramatic infectious rate. How it moves so fast and it and H1N1 are basically the same thing. So even with current PCR testing right now, which have gotten a little bit more specific in design, 
is really and truly the baseline against H1N1 and its variants that it is used to determine if people are COVID positive or not. And that is part of the reason why you have so much people who have false positive readings because even though they may have a variant of a coronavirus in them, it might not be COVID-19, but it will still trigger a positive or a true on the PCR test. Now, that is why WHO is always encouraging people that if you have certain strains as a result of the PCR test that is inconclusive, you need to send it to them for further testing. But how many countries can afford to be sending off shipments of, of these vials or, or, or specimens to WHO to get it tested? So the results can come back and the timeline it going to take. So right now, as soon as if you have the common cold, like a regular flu, like you have long before nobody know nothing about COVID, chances are if you take the PCR test, it will come back true. But it's not necessarily COVID you have. And what it also means is that not because it is positive means the coronavirus that is inside of you is active, meaning virulent, meaning it can cause replication in your body. So let me explain you know why this whole covid thing is affecting us the way it's affecting us so basically what this virus do when it go inside your body and because it is airborne the place where it is going to attack first is your lungs because you're breathing it in so it go through your nose and your mouth and shot go straight go your lungs and wait do inside of your lungs you have some little raspberry looking thing on the inside of your lungs that is called avioli and what those things do is that those little raspberry looking organs them very them, them smaller than sun sun grain millions of them lying your inside of your lungs and them take the oxygen that come in through breathing and puts it into your bloodstream now what happens when the coronavirus do is that when it hit the inside of your lungs it start to replicate multiply rapid and the rapid replication of the coronavirus inside of your lungs produces something where we would have called mucus now if you really study med you know anything at all to do with health you will know that one of the number one killers of us human beings is mucus you realize that when you're sick when you get a cut we call it pus but it's mucus when you cool and you cough, look up, and you see the cold change color from yellow to orange to all kind of sitting. You talk about infection. It's all mucus. Mucus is what breeds infection. So when the coronavirus good on in your lungs and latch on and start to multiply at a rapid rate, it starts to block off the avioli from passing oxygen that you breathe into your bloodstream. And that is how you start to get um pneumonia type conditions are respiratory challenges you can't breathe yeah it causes a convulsing which is the coffee <coughs> because it a block off the organs them from transferring oxygen into your bloodstream now you know that oxygen is essential to life so therefore people who have diabetes heart condition all of them blood hypertension all of these things are going to get you know multiply because your body is being starved of oxygen and that really are gone your blood becomes low in oxygen to supply the process of energy in the various organs and cells of your body so you start to get muscle fatigue your body start to feel lethargic you start to have headache because the brain is also being starved of oxygen this is what COVID does to the body. It replicates fast, block off the, 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 the inlet valve, then we're letting ear. It's just like a, a mechanic will understand this perfect when you talk about inlet valve. You understand? You need ear for going inside of the cylinder head to combust with the gas with the spark of fire. Boom! And generate energy. Same thing I go on in our lungs. Air need for coming through our lungs, for enter our bloodstream, for circulate through our body, for create boom explosion. So we have energy. That is what COVID stops from happening. And this is the reason why I will not stop saying that steaming with mental crystals or, or citric acid based um, par, um, particles like lime or orange peel and these things help with blocking COVID-19 from replicating as fast as it would under normal conditions in our trachea, in our lungs, in our nasal cavities to the back of the throat. You understand? Up to December, WHO had that steaming is one of the things that can help to prevent the adverse effects of COVID-19. Because the vaccine is now on the world stage, then take it off of them website and say, there is inconclusive evidence that steaming does anything. And, you know, we should all just get vaccinated. Well, here is my thing. My issue with the vaccination process, with this whole mRNA 
new way of vaccinating people. Let me explain mRNA in a Jamaican terms. You understand? Picture one egg. Picture you crack one egg and throw it in your frying pan. Almost every Jamaican do that. You got to have the egg yolk and then the egg white will surround the yolk. You see me? So the yolk are going to be in the middle. Egg white, the egg white are going to surround the yolk in the middle. Now, picture that being our cells in our bodies. The egg yolk is the nucleus, which part with DNA, with DNA there. I eat of everything but why we skin dark, white dark, we hair grow long, why do we have the color we eye, why we fingernail and grow so fast, why we teeth yellow chocolate, white or solid. DNA is what holds the, the, the volumes of information as to why we were made the way we were made. Very sensitive thing, is it me? All right, fine. So the yolk is the nucleus of that cell. We have billions of cells that make us up you understand me yeah when them inject the mrna the mrna come in like one little it's like when you blow bubbles with the soap and you go so and the bubbles take off the mrna is inside a one little oily bubble where them inject in the vaccine and it goes straight in our in our cells and what it do is that the mrna is carrying in it some information that scientists code like when you write computer language for tell the computer for do this it's like when you type on your computer two plus two equal four and you press two on the, on the keyboard then you press the plus sign then you press two again then you go enter and it give a result then put that two plus two the information inside of the little eye bubble with them injecting our body but it's not two plus two it's instructions to tell our nucleus to reproduce this particular protein, where you talk about spike protein, yeah, one protein, one little something where I eat depend on the surface of the coronavirus, then inject a variant of it inside away to tell our nucleus. If you say, look, you see that something here? Yeah? want you replicate it, you see me? So when it gets injected in our cells, it is it passing to a nucleus. The nucleus read the message and say, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Push it out back in a something called cytoplasm, which is the white part of the egg now, that are the outer part of the cell, cytoplasm, yeah? And when it go back in the cytoplasm, the white part of the egg, the, the, the message is going, the, 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 the servants then will operate in the outer part of the realm. So it's like, <laughs> we cell come in like a, a, how if we say, a factory. So the factory of all of the machine them, the machine there in the white part of the egg. You see me as the outer part. In the officer, which are the administrator and the CEO and the secretary and the treasurer there. The message have to go into the office first, which is the egg yolk. You see me? And them read it and say, oh, this is what I'm going to make out of my All right, can't go on the factory. Go get the, go, 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 go get the foreman. For him start the process. And that's how mRNA do. So the mRNA now goes back to the cytoplasm because unlike DNA, DNA can't enter the cytoplasm. So that's why you have a mRNA, a hit of the messenger. It carry the message in and carry the message out. So when it come back out of the nucleus, you might tell the cytoplasm, say, yo, may get permission from the nucleus for you replicate this, replicate this. And it start to multiply a variant of COVID-19 in our body. What that's supposed to do now is wake up with wax and canal. Me know every Jamaican know about wax and canal. Wax and canal have to do with white blood cells. T cells are B cells. Them cells are JDF in our body. Anything come across the border, them will rally up and start bust shot. Me not know you, but them shoot first and ask questions later. That is what white blood cells are all about. They fight off infection, viruses and all kind of bacteria out of our bodies. So that thing with them injecting our body and tell our body, say, look, you need to make millions and millions and millions of this. It is a variant of COVID, but it is not, it is not a COVID that is going to cause us to become ill. It's like just a flow through our body looking like the actual real COVID-19. And what it's supposed to do is trick our body into producing JDF soldiers to come fight it. So the more JDF will rally up in our body now, thinking that this thing we have flow through is a, is, a, is a wicked evil demon. It's not really wicked and evil. All it's really doing is telling the body to mass produce JDF soldiers on the battlefield. So when the actual COVID-19 coming our body from somebody were infected or our body would have had enough something called antigens to fight it. You understand? Now here is the reason why I am not a part of our with this vaccine mRNA technology. We do not know exactly when the replication process will ever stop. Yes, it is said by scientists that the message, the messenger RNA with them injecting away after 72 hours, it dead and the enzymes in our body clean it out. But the replication process would have already begun.
So when you go up on WHO, CDC website, or even the FDA, all of them are all saying, we do not know. This is the legal way of how they protect themselves against lawsuits or litigation action that can come against them if people get sick from these viruses. You understand? We do not know. So if you ask them, when will the replication process stop? We do not know. Um, will it protect against other kind of... We do not know. But all I want to tell you is that the potential benefit of taking the vaccine outweighs the risks. If you go up on their website, this is all you're going to see. We have never, as a people in this world, even when we had this, the, the Spanish flu, which is still H1N1, in 1918, they were able to answer specific questions about the vaccine that was being administered then. This is the first time in human history we are being pushed by even legal class action to take this vaccine with so many question signs around it. It has never been used in our history before where they are injecting synthetic material in our body and that give our bodies instruction to carry out specific tasks. Let me expand on specific tasks. The mRNA with them injecting our body will only motivate our body to create a particular viral response to the spike protein that is reticent or that is similar, sorry for the big word, that is similar to the COVID vaccine virus. You understand? Meaning, if because we are producing so much of this one particular type of a, of a response to fight that particular type of virus, what happens when our body is infected with other kinds of virus, even in the same coronavirus family? Our bodies will probably not be able to respond, which is why now this whole thing of the different strains of COVID vaccine is becoming such a big thing. And it is causing a mayhem in America, in South America, in Brazil, because the variants are not truly being held at bay with the version of the vaccines which we are now using because they are very specific. Each spike protein have a specific design. One of them look like body head. One of them look like umbrella. One next one look like one fruit. Yeah, one, one passion fruit. Is that what I say? Them and and the, the, the program where they write for look for replicate this in our body will only target the design where them tell it for target. So any other variant coming our body can pass by the soldier them and infiltrate the camp. And this is the problem with mRNA virus. Where our natural immune system is not being left alone to truly develop a strategy and a defense mechanism against all the variants of coronavirus like it has been doing for decades. Every time you catch influenza or flu, your body learned what they were and mapped and remembered how they fought it. And that's why we develop immunity against it. That is why the vaccine in Cuba. And even the vaccine when you sign a farm in a China, they basically use the old time tradition of killing the actual coronavirus that can't replicate in our body. Do them synthetic sitting, 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 inject it in our body and allow our immune system to recognize it as a foreign agent. And say, oh really? And build up a defense to kill it. That's why no matter what the Matella say, the best the best prevention against COVID-19 COVID is a strong immune system. That's why I keep on encouraging you know, taking take vitamin C. You know, try to go up on a good diet of vegetables and fruits. Try to steam and use the mental crystals. Anything for, bu for boost on you know, the immune system. Do it. Take on you know, multivitamins, whatever. Let your immune systems build. Because it is the ultimate defense. You understand? There's a whole heap of things we never want to truly get into right now. But let me tell you, me personally, I'm not taking any mRNA vaccine in my body. You understand? Yeah, I'm not doing it. I can't tell you guys to do it or not to do it. I'm just sharing the facts as it is. There's too much unknowns that are questions that are still... Can Five years from now, will my body still be producing these spike proteins? After COVID, probably long gone and forgotten because the whole world now vaccinated. So nobody now test nobody again. Whether we have it or not, nobody now got business because all the world is now vaccinated. Therefore, there is no more coronavirus. Really? They're going to treat it like a regular seasonal um influenza where people catch during this time of year it's like a pass blah 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 take your flu shot da, 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 da. them still don't know too many i don't knows you understand they're gonna bring in jansen and jansen jansen and jansen even worse 
Let me tell you one last piece of information. You see, they sitting where they tell you say it's an oily bubble where they put in the information and have to inject in our body. They have to use genetic material in order for our bodies to recognize it. They are called hosts or carriers. You know what some of these things are? Dead human fetus cells or monkey cells in the case of AstraZeneca from India. You understand? So, to be honest, me can't tell you whether having the, 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 the cells of a dead human being from 1970 are having the, 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 the cells from a dead chimpanzee from when, when, when being injected in me will do anything to me. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, that is one of the I don't know, so they don't know either. But because they're saying they have used dead cells of fetuses and animals with other vaccines and there is no adverse reaction, this should be okay too. Look, the fact that you are injecting this thing directly into my cell, into the nucleus of my cells, is a total different ballgame. You understand? Many of you never get into the politics of all of this thing. Right? Because I understand, say, to some extent, Andrew Holness hands are tied. Jamaica is not really owned by Jamaicans. Jamaicans are owned by the people we are indebted to. And sadly, the people we are indebted to dictate terms and conditions for our country. So, and I like Andrew can say, yo, hold your vaccine. I'm not ready for that yet. And I like say, we can produce it. And if we try to take any amount from Cuba, America can simply say we are aiding and abetting a communist nation that is against human rights and all kind of thing, which is what Bill Gates is proposing right now, because Cuba is producing their version of the vaccine and their version is being done like the old fashioned way. So, you rough out that street. All I can say is my family, trust God and live. Yeah? Bless it.